guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's gonna be something a little bit different. We're taking a break from makeup and this video, I put up a poll probably like a few weeks ago asking if you guys would be interested in this type of video and a lot of you guys said that you were. So here I am making this video. I have my notes today for this because we need to get into it. So this video is for those of you who want to start a YouTube channel in 2022, or if you just started a YouTube channel, or you just wanna know some tips and tricks that may help out your YouTube channel. I always get a lot of DMs on Insta, you know, asking questions about, you know, channels and what to do and different things like that and some advice and i just thought that i would make it into a video so let's go ahead and get into the video so really quickly if you guys are curious about anything that's on my face it'll be listed and linked down below in the description now we are going to start off with number one because this is something that's very important so tip number one is to take the first step and start your channel so if you've been nervous and not wanting to start your channel because you are afraid of what your friends are going to think you just don't want to take that step because you don't know what's going to happen you're not ready for you know mean comments or anything like that breathe and take the first step if you have been wanting to start a youtube channel now is the time more than ever i mean better late than never starting your channel but at the same time start your channel because you never know you or your channel could be that safe space for someone else to help you know relieve stress or just chill out like you never know what your channel could be for some people not only that you never know what it could do for you as well it could be something that you have just been missing in your life but you wouldn't know because you haven't taken the first step so that is tip number one make the channel tip number two is you have time so you have time to grow your channel, start your channel, you have the time. Now I will say you do not need to start your channel with the most expensive equipment. That is the biggest thing. I feel like some people think that you need a camera to do your YouTube channel or you need fancy lights, you need a wireless sound system like I do. But let me just tell you guys, I started off my YouTube channel filming on my iPhone. And then as my YouTube channel progressed, I started investing in different things here and there. Like the next thing I purchased was a camera this was during quarantine then the next thing I purchased was a wireless sound system so I have this right here which is a wireless mic and the last thing that I've added to my channel is really nice lights but you do not have to start with all of these things it takes time I've been on YouTube for two years and let me just tell you I just got my lights at the end of 2021 so you do not have to rush into getting lights and things like that. At the same time, you do have time for your channel to grow. You don't need to rush into all of that. You don't need to go and spend so much money on a camera, so many things. The iPhone now is so great. I like to vlog on my iPhone because the iPhone 13 has cinematic mode and it is phenomenal. It is better than any camera you could buy. Even the like later iPhones, the camera on those is also so good as well. So you really don't need to feel like you need to go out and buy the most expensive equipment. Tip number three is be consistent. So this is so cliche. Trust me, I know. When I was first starting my YouTube channel, I looked up different videos and tips on like, you know, how it could help me with my channel. And they all said this and I was like, oh my God, come on. Like, really that is probably the most true thing ever i didn't realize it until i actually got deeper into my channel because when you're consistently posting videos then you give your channel a better chance of reaching a ton of different people one video that you have may reach a certain group of people the other video may reach a totally different group of people and those people will subscribe to you as well so being consistent it also helps to know that people have something to look forward to there's something that they can come back and see on your channel which is what I love. I try to be consistent. I post three videos a week. That's like my minimum, three videos a week. If I can get over three, that is perfect for me. YouTube is not my full-time job as much as I would love for it to be. I do work in the film and television industry, so that takes up a lot of my time. 
like a lot of my time. The weekends I'm off, so I have the time on the weekend to film, but like right now I'm filming during my lunch break. Just keep in mind, being consistent is something that you should work towards. Being consistent also means posting once a week, maybe even two times a week, you know? Like that's still being consistent in my book, so. Everybody has their own opinion on what consistency is, but you can start to add an extra day a week or whatever works best for you. So tip number four is do not compare yourself to others. That is the number one thing on social media. I feel like we compare ourselves to a ton of people. I used to be guilty of that when I first started my channel. I used to think, okay, me and this person started our channel at the same time. They grew so much faster than me. You know, this is when I first started my channel and then I didn't realize that one, that was super unhealthy for me to do, which truly is very unhealthy. Two, everyone grows at their own pace. Just because someone probably started their channel like the same time that you did, doesn't mean you guys need to have the same amount of subscribers. It's really just unhealthy to compare yourself to others. Just know you are on your own journey and your journey is just as special as the next person's. Tip number five is a huge tip, okay? This is, Probably one of the biggest tips that I can give in this video, you can't please everyone. Now this is something that, this is something that's very, very, very true. You cannot please everyone. You may do your video the way that you feel works for you. Um, and then someone may comment and say, yeah, I wish you hadn't done that. I wish you could do it like this, like this person. One, know that you're not that person that they're talking about. Everyone does their channel differently. There are so many beauty YouTube channels out there. For example, I may do my swatches completely different than what you would want. Sometimes I'll do live swatches, sometimes I'll swatch before, or sometimes I'll swatch on my face or whatever. But someone may comment and be like, oh, well, I wish you would have swatched it on your face, or I wish you would have did this, 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 and this. You can't please everyone. The way that you did those swatches in your video may have been so beneficial to one person, but maybe not the next, and that's okay, because you cannot please every single person. If you did, you would not be happy, because then you'd be doing what other people want you to do instead of what you want to do or what you know works best for you. When I first started my channel, I was... Oh, I was still trying to figure out how I wanted to do it. A lot of my videos that were in 2020 are super cringe. I try not to go back to them, but sometimes I like to remind myself how far I have come. But let me just say, like, I have grown so much. I found what works for me. As your channel continues to grow and you get more subscribers, there are gonna be people that have their opinion. And we have to remember everyone has their opinion, but at the same time, as long as that person is being respectful in their opinion, that is definitely okay. But if they're not being respectful, then that's a completely different story. But you will get comments where people think they're giving you constructive criticism and they're thinking it's helpful, and it's really not. And then when you respond to those comments and they don't like your response, it's a whole thing. I cannot tell you how many times that has happened on my channel where someone would give me constructive criticism that they think is constructive, but the way that they say it and how they say it is like they give you the criticism and then they insult you during the comment and then expect for you to be okay with the insult that they added with it. I personally love constructive criticism, especially if it's helpful. I went to a conservatory style high school for theater and then I also went to a conservatory style university for theater as well and you get constructive criticism all the time. So I can take constructive criticism, but when it's done in a way that's not very constructive and it's insulting, then of course I'm gonna respond. It's my channel and that's how I wanna respond. All of this stuff that I'm telling you guys, I'm speaking from experience. There will be comments that you get that are not very nice. If you do choose to respond to those comments, just know that no matter what you say, the person is not gonna take it very well. And that is just what it is, you know? But at the same time, 
everyone's gonna have an opinion and you cannot please everyone. But there are some things that people have said to me that I have taken and I have used and it has truly ended up working for me. Like close-ups of products. When I'm watching a YouTube video as a consumer, I love to see close-ups of products. I wanna see every detail, oh, nook, cranny. I want to see everything. I want close-ups. So I try to do that in all my videos where I show like close-up overlays and that is something someone suggested to me and I loved it and I have been using it ever since. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and move on to the next tip. Sixth tip is do what you love and it's okay to change your mind. So I started off my channel as a vlog channel. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those were the days I started my channel my freshman year of college and I was vlogging. I was like, okay, this is going to be easier to do because when you're in college, you are busy, 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 but it's easy to pick up the camera and just vlog what you're doing when you have free time, blah, blah, blah. It's just easier to do that than just a sit down video because you have to block out the time to do that. But when you're vlogging, you don't really have to vlog. You don't have to block out the time. You can just pick up the camera and start recording. So that's what I was doing. And I found that that really wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a YouTube channel, but I didn't really know what I wanted to post. And then eventually I started getting into beauty and I was like, dang, this is, I love this. I love makeup. So eventually I started to transition my channel over to beauty and lifestyle-ish, okay? And then just strictly beauty. That is why I say it's okay to change your mind. If you feel like you wanna start your channel one way and then you feel like, okay, this isn't working for me, it's okay to change your mind. Like it's your channel, do what you want to do. So number seven is it's okay to get discouraged. Now I say that because there are going to be times where you feel like your channel is not going anywhere. Like you're stuck at seven subscribers or you're stuck at 30 or a hundred or 300 and it just doesn't move. Being discouraged is normal. Know that, but don't let it stop you. Continue going, push through because it happens to everyone. I used to get discouraged a lot when I had about 200 subscribers because it just I just felt like I never saw that 200 move up or move down. Like I just felt like it stayed there. And I was like, what am I doing? Why am I filming? There's no one seeing this. Like I didn't know what was happening, but I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter because I have 200 subscribers that want to see me. They're subscribed to me. Let me worry about what I have and not what I don't have. It's easy to worry about things that you don't have rather than focus on what you have. Like right now, I am super content with the amount of subscribers that I have. I'm so happy that that was a lesson I learned early on because I, I just focus on what I have now and know that there are however many people subscribe to me watching my videos and seeing the videos that I put up. And I'm not worried about if my channel moves up or moves down or whatever like that. It's normal to get discouraged, just know that, but just know it's only temporary. Just know if you are consistent and you just continue doing what you're doing, the subscribers will come. You'll see, you'll start to see a change in your channel and things like that. Great tip is do it for the right reasons. I always see people saying they want to start a YouTube channel to make money or they wanna be a content creator to make money or of course, it can eventually lead to that, but if you're starting your channel thinking, okay, I want to get to a thousand subscribers so I can start making money, that is not the way to go about it. That's the mindset that you have starting your channel. You're already setting these expectations, and then when they don't happen as fast enough as you want or at all, then then you just set yourself up for no reason. You just set yourself up to feel disappointed for no reason. I mean, it's no secret that once you get established on YouTube and you start, you know, hit the thousand subscribers, get the 4,000 watch hours, I don't know if it's changed now, that you will start earning money on YouTube and on TikTok. I know people want to get into the content creator thing. I'm not sure how that works, but if it's not something you want to do, then you're just going to do it until you get burnt out and tired from it. You know what I mean? Like do it because you love to do it and just know that making money eventually is a perk of you doing what you love. I hope that made some type of sense. Hopefully. <laughs> Number nine is take time for yourself and you don't have to post every day. This is kind of like a two in one, you know? So taking time for yourself definitely, definitely means taking time for yourself. You do not have to post every day. I am guilty of feeling like I have to post every day and I realize that's not very, that's not very realistic for me and what I have going on. 
Posting three times a week is what works for me. If I can post more, that is a plus for me. I love it and I always tell you guys when I'm not filming, I feel so incomplete. I just feel incomplete and I love filming, but I know that I do need to take some days off and take time for myself because it is a lot of work. Set up everything, film, edit, upload it, post it, create the description, do this, do that. It's a lot. I love to edit. I know some people don't like to edit, but I love editing. It's probably my favorite part besides filming the video. I love, love, love to edit. But just know you have to take time for yourself. You can't be so wrapped up in this one thing because then you gotta have an, an outside life. I feel like this rings true for any job or anything. It just rings true. And I wanted to have this as a tip because I think it's very important to remember. And my last tip is probably the most important one of all, have fun, okay? If you are not having fun, what are you doing, okay? Have fun creating your channel, have fun going through the journey, have fun seeing your channel grow, have fun just, just going through the motions of starting a YouTube channel, whether it's beauty or video games, whatever it is, have fun doing it because it should be fun. It shouldn't feel like work. It shouldn't feel like this thing you like, oh, I have to do, you know? It shouldn't feel like that. Have fun and know that if you're having fun, other people can see you having fun as well. So that is my 10 tips for starting a YouTube channel in 2022. I hope this video was helpful in some way. At least one of the tips was helpful for you. These are just things that I feel like ring true for me. These are things that I I would want to see in a video like this starting a channel in 2022, but I hope it was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.